question we've been asking for weeks as hospitals and ICUs become overwhelmed with patients, right? Why hasn't the state's army of medical volunteers been deployed? CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is live at the state capitol tonight getting answers for us. Marissa. Yeah, well, months ago we told you about the governor's uh, health corps. He touted this program, uh, hoping to bring in medical staff from across the state to fight on the front lines of coronavirus. So why aren't we seeing them at area hospitals right now as we're seeing this surge? Well, tonight we've learned most people who signed up aren't actually qualified to work in an ICU. This as some area nurses beg for help. This union power is on the rise. Now it's time to organize. Surgery nurses alongside their families outside of UC Davis Hospital calling for help. They say coronavirus cases are surging and there's not enough staff to respond. We don't accept this because it does put patient safety at risk. In response, UC Davis Hospital staff says there isn't a staffing shortage at all and they meet or exceed the state's ratio requirements. But those on the front lines don't agree. We need more staff and we need more support staff. In San Joaquin County, federal medical teams have been sent to two hospitals. On Wednesday, Governor Newsom said tens of thousands of licensed medical workers are available to help through his touted California Health Corps program. Over 96,000 people went to that healthcorps.gov site and 35,000 uh, have availed themselves of their active capacity uh, to have current license registration so that we can begin to pull from that resource base. The governor says those staff would be sent to alternate care facilities, but there's still a need for more qualified staffers. In all, 10,000 applied for the program, but many didn't have the license to work in the ER. Almost 5,000 have been approved for deployment, but less than 900 have been hired. And those staffers have been sent to skilled nursing facilities or nursing homes, not area hospitals. In our department, yes, we are understaffed, and we've been bringing this to management for about the last nine months. That's so clearly a problem on the front line. So why the disconnect between California's governor and his own health care program? CBS 13 has reached out consistently to the state, to Cal OES and the governor's press, uh, press office, asking about the governor and the information he shared with us yesterday. We have not yet heard back. Now, the health court is proving that there is not enough qualified staff. So what are local city and county leaders going to do about it, about this hospital surge now? We're getting answers and bring that to you coming up in our next hour, guys.